Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to loop emotions in iClone 7. First, I will use a character I click here. I use a random character avatar here. For example, okay. I use a random avatar. Next, I will go to find the motion file, some of the short motions. Icon 7 motion, idol. For example, female female idol. The idol. So if I play, first I click here to check the timeline. And at here, I will click and fit to window. So now you can see the total motions, it is about 350 frames. Let's say if I don't want this, I delete. I choose an another shorter one to perform. For example, the catwalk. How short is that? This is the catwalk. Alright. So now the total frame is 1,800. I can just click here, view, sorry, click window, workspace, or panel, then I should be able to see the project. The total frame is one, 1,800. I can change it to become 18,000. Just add a zero and enter. Now you can see that the whole timeline is already expand to 18,000, but just have a look. This is just just one time. All right. So the motion is here. I click. I click zoom. Where is the zoom? Click here. Fit to window. You can see it is totally eighteen thousands. But the catwalk motion is just a few seconds here. If I want to loop it, I just click here, and I drag here. It will loop. You can see. It looked many times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It looked 11 times until, until 9,500 frame. If I play, you can see this is, this is the loop. Once it finish and return back, and then loop again loop again it's somewhere here all right you also can can remove the loop just to drag it back you can loop unlimited times the same motions just make it loop and of course you can set this range to here and save a new motion file just need to select select this avatar if I click contents it's under the motions I click custom it's under the motions. Now I can click plus. Then it will save save the whole range of, of the motions. I will just name it catwalk. Look. Alright, so if I want to apply this, I drag into the timeline. It already become one motion file which have a few loops here. So of course, this one, if you want to loop it, it will just double, it will just duplicate double. All right. The original ones, I loop a few times, but this one, once you save it as a single motion file, you are unable to separate them anymore. All right. That's all for today about how to loop a motion and also save the motion file after you loop it. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell to select all, so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video, enjoy, and happy animation and game developing. See you.